I mean, I think the, the, the challenge that, that the university sector has um, before COVID was really, it was either online or the traditional form. Uh, and there was quite a, a clear division there. What we've seen, obviously, is a rush online, as Taib was saying. That spring back on, of the, the elastic band will need us to think about that hybrid form. And we, you know, we, I think that provides an opportunity for universities here because it, it suddenly enables us to think about place in a way that has always been the, the strength of, of British universities, that been that very strong sense of identity of the place, whether it's in, you know, in a campus university or, 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 or not. Uh, but you can now meld that with an online delivery. Now, the interesting thing you, 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 know, you mentioned there is um, opportunities to work with uh, businesses. That online capacity gives you the opportunity to, to bolt in industry experience, industry ideas and so forth into, the, in, into the, the delivery in a way that, again, was slightly clunky before it was, you know, because it was on campus or not. So I think you know, that, that um, division between online and the traditional offering has been, has been uh, uh, um, uh, smoothed off. Uh, and there's, there's huge opportunities there for us. Um, it'll, it'll take. Um, I mean, the, the point that Ty mentioned about do you, as it were, um, buy in expertise um, or do you bring it um, from the bottom up? Clearly, I think from, a, from an institution's point of view, one of the big challenges um, that we've always had is trying to bring academics with us. Well, academics have had to come with us. Now I think there is an appetite for them to say, okay, so let's engage with these these ed tech companies and so forth to, to, think, uh, to think these things through. So I think there is it's, it's a real opportunity.